Good morning, beautiful people of the world. Good morning. It is Thursday, August 29th, 2024. I'm on my way over to the other department. So that's why uh, I'm leaving so early. It looks like it's nighttime. It's 526. And, uh, you know, it's dark. <sighs> yes, it's dark. How y'all doing this morning? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I'm doing all right. I gotta be there at six. So, one more day, y'all. One more day, and it'll be Friday. Hope you've had a great week thus far. I have had a good week. No complaints so far. No complaints. No complaints. Um, I thank God for that. But yeah, I'm on my way, y'all. I'm on my way. Gas in this van. I haven't filled this. I haven't filled this tank up yet, cause I don't know when they're gonna say my car is ready. I talked to them the other day. Uh, what's today's day? What day that talks about Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, I talked to them Tuesday. And um uh, must be wondering where people be going this early in the morning and walking, but I guess to work, like me, I'm assuming. But um I got my phone charging. So the phone might fall back or whatever. Let me turn this radio down because they'll be saying, oh, it's a song playing in the background. They won't let me get no credit for this video. But anyway, I talked to them Tuesday and they told me that the engine had come in. The engine had come in and they were just waiting, you know, put it in they said the car should be ready no later than Friday. Uh, fingers crossed that it'll be ready on Friday. I miss my little buggy, but I have enjoyed driving this car too. It's got everything on it. It's a 2024 Toyota Sienna. So I have to admit, I do like this car. I do. But, um, is in my car. My stuff for the picnic is in the car. And I need it. So there you have it. These brakes are squeaking. I know they don't need this car don't need no brakes. It only has 50 miles on it. It's not even don't even have that many miles. So my mom 
mom yesterday, she was just like, we was talking about the, I tried not to even talk about it to her, honestly. I, I tried not to even bring it up about, I just tried not to bring it up. Because, like I said, it's a sore spot for me. I feel just horrible at this point. And I just try not to even bring it up to her. But anyway, she was like standing out on the porch and she kind of had this look on her face. And I just told her, I said, Mama, I know what you're thinking. And I know you angry and upset with me. And you're mad. And she's like, I'm not angry or upset or mad. I'm like, mm, okay. Well, I said, I, I promise you when I get my income taxes, right over to you she's like do you think that you're gonna get um something back i said i should i got a house she get a little something back she got a whole lot of something back you know i know they you know now with with our former president trump you know used to get so much for having a house the tax breaks and all of that cut a lot of that out. So, I don't know. You see me getting on here, so I don't know why you act like you don't know that I'm on here. some fruit y'all in this plate see that good old fruit got me some fruit Ooh. distance to empty i don't know what that means listen i saw on the news this morning early this morning saying that if you have a car with the key fob like this car you know with the, you start it up by hitting a button and you had a key fob you don't need a key to turn the car on they said even if you start it up and you walk away from it and like you go and this man was on he was talking about how he had started the car up he took the key with him in the house to go get the dog came back out somebody and stole his car so they can steal your car even though you got the key fob with you ain't that something so don't leave your car unattended if you have that key fob you know uh thing because like with my car i have to i don't have a remote starter like my mother has a remote starter as soon as you touch the handle of her door the car automatically um the car automatically shuts off so you can't go nowhere with it but yeah i tell you people will find a way to steal anything yesterday my mother told me that my uncle her brother told her that somebody stole the, you know the thing that's on the side of your house for the water to come out of? What is it called? Like the water drainage thing? Somebody stole that. How do you steal that? How do 
how do you steal that? And what are you going to do with it? So I guess you sell it? But who would think to steal that from the side of somebody's house? I'm just saying. I wouldn't think to do that. That is so weird to me. I don't get it. That's weird. My allergies is really acting up this morning. I'm like, I was like, so they had to pull it. They had to pull it off the side of the house. steal the stank off of shit. If it ain't nailed down, you can forget it. Pretty damn desperate to steal that. That's crazy. Okay, maybe you can drive now because you scared of the police. Maybe you can drive. But from this idiot. people going around you because you're driving like a snail. Crazy. So when she told me that they stole that, mine is visible. I'm like, oh lord. Like, I hope they don't steal mine. Well, I ain't putting it in the universe that they out. My friend ain't came back and did nothing over at my house. I got quite a few things I need him to do. Not a lot. But, I never put finish with my films up. They never put the security thing up. I ain't even talked to him. I'm gonna call and see what's going on. I know he's building a gazebo outside of his um, house. 
Oh, he might be busy with that. and jumps over it and knocked it down. Oh, my girl. And I go down there in the bathroom, the bathroom that Christopher uses all the time. And it was disgusting. I was going to say, you don't get down here and clean this bathroom up. It wasn't, he, it was like whatever lotion he used was all inside the cabinet. I'm like, me why I got up at 4 o'clock and went back and laid down. Ask me why. Ask me why. Because that made absolutely no sense whatsoever. I don't know what I was thinking about at all. Jack, you or not. I ain't trying to be negative. I'm just saying. This is why I left out so much later because um, I don't like sitting down here by myself.
I didn't even realize I still had y'all on here. That I was still recording. I apologize. I couldn't get the alarm off. I couldn't get that. I could not get that alarm off. the door. I have to lock the gate. It's just really monitoring the building. Really. This is our substation. So. That's what it is. I got on the new Spanx. This is not the one I ordered. I ain't feeling this one too much. It's alright, but... 
That ain't my favorite. Do we need to get in here? Oh, shit. I haven't parked there already. You coming out now? What are you doing here? Anywho, um, I was going to say something else to you all, and I lost my train of thought. I was saying something, and I lost my train of thought. I don't remember what I was going to say. But I couldn't get that alarm off. I couldn't remember the code for nothing in the world. I remember it. It was hot in my house this morning. I turned the air on before I left. It's muggy out here. I don't know what the temperature is. It's 60, 70, it's 74 degrees, but it's muggy. Real, real muggy. I hate that he moved the TV out of that that main room and put it in there. I hate that. Oh well. I think he did that because there's no air in that other room. Which I don't understand. But anywho, I don't have much to talk about, y'all. This is kind of like a dull video. I don't even know what to talk about. Um, I just want to get out of Russia. Um, this new space I have on. Um, it don't come all the way down to the thigh. It's like a shorty. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling it. I don't know. So, anywho. I'm going to let y'all go. Because I don't really have a whole lot to talk about. And I don't want to bore you all. And keep y'all on here. Tomorrow is Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. Yay, yay. Um, thinking about going to this party tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking about it. Um, let's see. My weekend's gonna be busy. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Usually, the uh, CBS alumni party, nobody, we don't do nothing on Saturday. Because people were trying to get prepared for the picnic on Sunday. I don't know why Class 84 decided to have their gala on, on Saturday. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to work the front desk for them. So, we'll see. We shall see. Um, yeah. So, anywho, um, I'll see you all tomorrow on here. And I hope you all have a great day today. Hope you have a blessed and safe day. Okay? All right. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye.